Bengals fans, welcome into Bengals Breakdown. I am Will Scott discussing the latest Cincinnati new Bengals news and rumors. So whether you're having some Skyline chili or eating some Grater's ice cream, we appreciate you watching today's show. And we're talking about Jonah Williams on today's show. Did they deny his trade request? Of course, he put in a trade request with Cincinnati after the Bengals signed Orlando Brown to be the new left tackle. We're going to talk about that on today's show. And if you want more Cincinnati Bengals news and rumors, then subscribe to the channel. We just relaunched our Bengals channel here at Chat Sports. We want to get you guys more content. But in order to do that, we need more subscribers. So hit that subscribe button below if you want more Bengals content here on YouTube. The Bengals have said, uh, that they are going to move Jonah Williams to right tackle. Uh, that is the plan. Zach Taylor was asked about this at the league meetings. Here is what Zach Taylor said. I'm excited to see him come in and compete at right tackle. He's always been everything we wanted him to be about. We've never had issues with him. Hopefully we can work through this and he can come in and compete at right tackle for us. That's what we're counting on him to do. And Jonah kind of struggled last year at left tackle. Had a 61.2 PFF grade, tied for the most sacks allowed in the league. So I do feel like a switch to right tackle might benefit Jonah Williams. That's actually where he started his collegiate career at the University of Alabama at the right tackle position. Taking a look at the current Bengals depth chart. So if Jonah Williams moves to right tackle, what does that mean for Lyle Collins? I think that it could potentially mean that Lyle Collins uh, would be cut. And I know what you're thinking. Bengals cutting an LSU guy? Yeah, Lyle Collins uh, might get cut uh, if the plan is to move Jonah Williams to right tackle. And Lyle Collins was somewhat of a disappointment last year. Obviously a big splash in for agency. Five sacks allowed in 15 games. But I just don't see a world where they keep both him and Williams around. This could just be talk. Um, you know, Zach Taylor's not going to sit there at the league meetings and say, yeah, we're actively shopping Jonah Williams. I think they want to keep Jonah Williams, and they're probably persuading him, probably talking to his agent right now, trying to make something work. But at the same time, if Williams wants out of town, he is a free agent after the end of next season. You do not want to let him leave without getting something in return. You probably could get a third-round pick for Jonah Williams, and there's a lot of teams out there, including the Chicago Bears, that really need a left tackle. Now, Orlando Brown's going to be a left tackle. There's no question about that. I think there were some question marks coming into his free agency. Would he take a right tackle job? No, he's going to be the left tackle. The big question right now is who's going to be the right tackle? Orlando Brown's going to be left tackle. Who's going to be the right tackle? For the Bengals, is it going to be Lyle Collins or Jonah Williams? It depends on if J Jonah Williams gets traded or not. Will Jonah Williams be traded? Why for yes or in for no down in the comment section? I wouldn't be surprised either way. You know, I think they want to keep him around. I think they're going to try to talk to him about making the switch. But there's going to be a lot of interest for this guy. There's already been a lot of interest for Jonah. That interest is going to continue here in the weeks before the NFL draft. 